Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants with a cup or like today, a glass of milk tea. <laughs> this is boba tea. So my source of caffeine for today is this Thai tea. It is summer so it is. this one is so refreshing guys. Mm. Anyway, so for today, I'm going to do another vlog or video log. It's been a while since I did this. And if you're new to this channel, my video logs is typically when I just uh, am out in my backyard doing some chores or blabbing about my collection, <laughs> about my cactus collection. So for today, I am actually going to be watering my plants. So we will be talking about watering for today i often get asked by viewers how to water their cactus generally speaking um you only water your cactus when the soil is dry but um it is hard to answer that question without really knowing everything about your climate or your environment or how you take care of your plants because there are a lot of factors to consider first what is your climate? Do you get a lot of rain in your area? Is it humid in your area? Or do you live in a desert-like environment like I do where it seldom rains and our air is always hot and dry? It would also depend on the type of pot that you're using. If you have terracotta pots like this, these are porous so your soil will dry out faster. Obviously, you would have to give them water more often than those that are planted in say plastic pots like this. Or you might have glazed pots like this one right here. So I have an aloe. This one is in a glazed pot. This one you would be needing to water it less compared to say a cactus that is in a terracotta pot also it depends if you have top dressing so i use top dressing but this retains water in the soil longer compared to if you don't use top dressing on your plants uh, what else it also depends on what type of cactus you are growing echinopsis like those guys right there the globular ones those can take more water than say an astrophytum like this one or an eriosis or a copiapoa you know those cacti don't like a lot of water so it would depend too on what kind of cactus you are growing the type of soil that you use also matters if you use a very gritty soil mix then you would need to water more often compared to if you use a much richer soil mix and finally of course the season of the year is very important during summer right now i water more often so i water two sometimes even three times in a week but during winter i withhold watering for some of them i do make exceptions i water them even if it's winter but i just give them very little water because it is not their growing season so now let me show you how I water my plants. So I have a uh, buckets of water stored in my backyard because as much as I want to use rainwater, I don't have enough rainwater to use on my plants. So I have to use tap water. What I do is I let it stand for at least 24 hours. The longer it is, the better for the chlorine to evaporate from the tap water. And then our tap water the ph level of our tap water is somewhere between 8.5 8.4 8 8.6 8 almost 9 so it is very high and normally you would want your water to be the same ph as rainwater so rainwater ph is somewhere between 5 and 6 5 to 6 so to bring down the ph level of my water I use vinegar okay so this is just you know any simple vinegar it doesn't have to be fancy <laughs> so I use one teaspoon per gallon of water 
How many did I do? Three? <laughs> Oops. Four and five. Okay. So, five teaspoons. I poured more than I should on the last teaspoon. So, I would say that's five. So, for me, one teaspoon per gallon is enough to bring down the pH level to around six. I'll be happy with six, six and a half. So that is what I use. You can use vinegar, you can use citric acid, or um, I've tried lemon. I have an abundance of lemon because my mother-in-law has a giant lemon tree. So I also used lemon uh, juice to make my water have a lower pH. But when you're using fertilizer, or adding fertilizer to your water, be careful too because fertilizer tend to increase the acidity of your water so if you add fertilizer you would want to add less vinegar on your water so before I water my plants I make sure the soil is completely dry and then when I water I do the soak and dry method so first I uh, give them a good watering as you can see water is already draining at the bottom of the pots so I would do it this way just give them a good watering until water comes out at the bottom of the pot but I don't stop there I go back and give it a second round of deep watering why because i want to do deep but infrequent watering so i want the soil to saturate what i found out is that if you use a very gritty mixture what happens is that if you water the water will just uh, flow straight down the pot and uh, in between the rocks and the soil or the organic material will not absorb the water immediately so that's why i go back and water a second time to give the soil to really saturate and uh, distribute water in the roots see if you saturate your soil it will promote deep root system rather than you know just getting the top wet or the top part wet so what will happen is your cactus will develop roots just on the upper part of your soil i don't know if you've experienced that but i did sometimes when i repot my cactus i found out that all the roots are just from the top until the middle part because that's the only part of the soil that got wet so ever since i practiced deep but infrequent watering in my plants If you will notice, it doesn't really matter to me if the cactus body itself gets wet because here in the desert, everything dries out really fast. But if you live in a humid area where it's always cold and damp, you would not want to get the body wet often because if it could cause fungal infections. But like I said, here everything dies out fast, so it doesn't really matter to me. In fact, I like it. Every now and then, it's also good to wash your cactus. clean. It's like uh, cleaning your cactus because um, if your cactus is dusty, it could attract a lot of pests like spider mites they like dusty plants so it's always it's also a good idea if you do get a chance to like shower or clean your cactus every now and then just pick a hot and dry day to do that so right now i am here in my desert garden and i am watering my plants here using this watering can but in reality i don't always do this guys because the desert garden uses up so much water that I usually don't have enough stored water for these. And this takes a long time for me to be hauling water back and forth. And I have three desert gardens to water. So most of the time I cheat and I use the hose <laughs> to water my plants here in my desert garden. I know you might be thinking if I use tap water then that's not good. But in reality, the desert garden is, or my desert garden is exposed to rain. So rain actually, in time, you know, can neutralize the soil's pH. And also, to help neutralize my soil pH, what I do is, twice a year, I buy a 
soil amendment it's a ph adjuster i, I use it to lower the ph of my soil so i sprinkle it on my soil twice a year so one at the beginning or beginning of springtime or towards the end of winter and then another one probably around winter time so winter we usually get rain as well so that's the time i sprinkle that soil acidifier and talking about using hose to water my desert garden i would like to thank hose link for sending me a very useful retractable hose hose link offers a retractable hose reel with a sleek design automatic retraction and leak free connect fittings using my hose to water my garden used to be a big ordeal for me my hose always gets kinked and tangled and putting it back was difficult time consuming and messy hose link made my watering easier the box came in with everything i need to get me started installation was quick and easy the mounting bracket allows the reel to pivot 180 degrees so the hose follows your direction as you water it has a spring-loaded retraction and is easy enough for almost anyone to extend the hose. Most of all, it solves my problems over kinked and tangled hoses. You can purchase this retractable hose through www.hoselink.com. Use my discount code CACTUS10 and get a $10 off on orders over $75. This code is valid until August 31st, 2021. I water my cacti late during the day or at sunset simply because it's uh, cooler for me to do it at night than in the morning but actually I found out recently that it is better to do it at night because the stomates of the cacti are closed during the day and they are open during the night they do this because um, in the morning if uh, their stomates are open then they will lose a lot of water in their cactus body so they open their stomates when it is cooler so they don't lose as much water and when their stomates are open that is the time when they do their gas exchange and when they're actively exchanging gas that is the time when the roots are able to absorb water better from the soil I will put a link down in this video on an article about CAM photosynthesis. And I actually got that article from Daz of Cacti Mania. So it's a good reading about why it is ben more beneficial to water your cacti at night it is getting late guys so i'll let you go although i'm not done watering yet i usually take about an hour to an hour and a half to finish everything and it takes me like 25 gallons to water all my potted plants that is the reason why i just use a hose to water my desert gardens <laughs> So I hope you like this video guys. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll talk to you again next time. Bye everyone and boba tea. Cheers.